Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? So in today's episode, right, I want to talk about how do you have an amazing trading career? So what I'm about to share with you is just my point of view, right, is the things that uh, will happen, right, for me to have an amazing trading career. It might be different from your point of view. You might have different goals whatsoever, right? So, so take it with a pinch of salt, right? And if it makes sense for you, great. Something that you can aspire to. If it doesn't, right, you know, you can, you know, uh, watch something else altogether. Okay, so... To have an amazing trading career, at least for me, right, from, from the way I look at things, right, it's uh, broken up into five stages, right? Stage number one is the newbie stage. So at this stage, right, is where you learn, you know, everything and anything about trading. That's where your hopes are high, your expectations are high, you know, you're going to make, you're going to be the next world, world-class world trader, right? So at this newbie stage, you know, you're soaking up everything, right, that you come across. Day trading, position trading, scalping, chart patterns, everything, okay? So after you progress right to the next to the next stage which is which is what i call the mastery stage during the mastery stage right at this stage you are focusing right you kind of realize that you can't trade everything in anything right at least not at this current stage because your resources are limited and you'll find yourself leaning towards a certain trading methodology for example let's say quantitative trading if you lean more towards quantitative trading at this stage right you will focus entirely right on quant trading you'll ignore everything else right so all the stuff that you have learned in stage one you'll discard them so you'll discard you know price action trading you'll throw away your candlestick patterns knowledge you'll ignore the chart patterns whatsoever and just focus on quantitative trading right so what happens at this stage right, is that you will focus on one trading methodology until you become profitable with it, right? And that's your bread and butter, right? So this is the second stage, the mastery stage, where you just focus on one and get good with one trading methodology. Then you move on to the third stage, right? It's what I call the scaling up stage. At this stage, right, you kind of realize that, yes, right, you are a profitable trader, but there is still a limit, right, to how much you can potentially earn because that's where you realize that you need money to make money in trading. For example, let's say you make an average of 20% a year. On a $1,000 trading account, that's about 200 bucks a year. But if you have a million dollar trading account, that's $200,000 a year. A huge difference. And so when you realize this, right, you start to you know, find ways to, to grow your trading account. Right? You might rob a bank. I'm just kidding. right? You might you know, get money from your family and friends to trade for them. You might use the money from your your part-time job, your full-time job to increase the size of your trading account, you'll do as much as possible, right, to scale up your trading account so you can make more money from trading. So that's the third stage, right, stage three. Then you move on to the fourth stage. At this stage, you're pretty much proficient in your trading. You know, you're getting consistent results and you realize that, hey, trading is just one way to make money, right? And it's not the only way because you can actually use the knowledge that you have and make more money. For example, that's where you offer trading courses. That's where you mentor other traders. Or maybe that's where you start to, you know, uh, promote or recommend trading products and services that you believe in, like, you know, brokerage, you know, uh, trading tools or whatsoever. So that's the fourth stage, right? That's where you diversify your earnings, right, away from trading itself. And at this stage, right, the fourth stage, you realize that it's actually also part of scaling up because when you diversify, you have more money now again from different sources besides trading. And you can actually grow your trading account further. Okay, so after the fourth stage is where you go to the fifth stage. At this stage, right, you probably have like maybe a six-figure trading account, maybe even seven. And you kind of realize it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, you're not very comfortable, right, just trading so much money on one trading strategy because you understand that a trading strategy goes through a period of drawdown. For example, let's say you trade uh, uh, a trend-following strategy in the stock market. You know that if the stock market is bullish, right, then hey, you'll make money in the stock markets. But if it's bearish, right, then, you know, you'll go through a drawdown. You know, you might, you know, lose 20, 30% of your, your portfolio returns. So at this, talk, at this point, right, you're starting to think, right, what if I employ multiple trading strategies which are uncorrelated to one another? That actually can help you reduce your overall returns. For example, let's say earlier, right, the, the stock trend following strategy. Let's say you don't just trade the stock markets. You also apply a trend following strategy to, let's say, the Forex and futures market. So let's say the stock market is bad, it's down 30%, okay? But because of the fact that you also have another trading strategy for the Forex and futures market, that strategy could be, let's say, up 30%. And when you trade both strategy, right, you actually realize that you are break even, right? You're not up or down for the year. And that's much better, right, compared to just trading that stock strategy, right, and down 30%, right, during a recession. So that's the beauty of trading multiple uncorrelated strategy because the strength or weakness of one strategy right, can be compensated by another different trading strategy. And in the grand scheme of things, it does two things. Number one, it reduces your overall drawdown. 
right? As what you've seen earlier. So if, for example, a uh, trading strategy has a max drawdown of, of 30%, if you employ, let's say, two or three uncorrelated trading strategy, that drawdown could be reduced to maybe 20%, maybe even 15%. The second thing is that your returns will be less lumpy. So instead of putting all your money into one strategy and then the strategy does well, your equity curve will go up up and down very jaggedly. If you trade multiple uncorrelated correlated strategy, right, your returns are less lumpy. It's much more smoother over time. So when you're trading larger amount of money, right, you can actually sleep better at night. And that matters a lot, right? And so that's what the fifth stage is all about, the ultimate diversification. So as a quick recap, right, uh, number one, the newbie stage is where you learn everything and anything about trading. You know, you're hyped up, you're excited. Stage number two is the mastery stage is where you develop your bread and butter trading strategy and become consistently profitable. Stage 3 is a scaling up stage where you know add funds to your trading account to make more money. Stage 4 is the diversification, uh, using trading right, uh, to make money right, besides trading. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but using yeah, your trading knowledge to make money, right, uh, like you know courses, mentoring, coaching, affiliate, etc. And the fifth and final stage is the ultimate diversification stage where you trade multiple uncorrelated trading strategies right and you know to really grow your portfolio all right so with that's it i wish you good luck and good trading i will talk to you soon